Mona Lisa. Bewitching, seductive, world famous. In the minds of millions, she is the ultimate work of art, endlessly photographed and admired. Yet behind the enigmatic smile, she remains a mystery. Who was she? Why was she painted? And what has made her the world's most famous painting? One of Leonardo's most important works. It's today one of the world's most famous paintings. The beloved oil on wood Renaissance masterwork, which currently resides in a room of its own at the Louvre, is known by many names. La Gioconda, Lisa del Giocondo, or simply Mona Lisa, created by history's most creative genius, Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona Lisa is an absolute feat of master craftsmanship. Its actual size is 77 by 53 centimeters, 30 by 20 and 7 eighths inches, and is owned by the government of France. Leonardo was among the most important painters of the Italian Renaissance and the father of the High Renaissance style. Leonardo da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452, in Vinci, Italy. By age 14, he was apprenticing under the famous artist Verrocchio. Da Vinci became a master artist in the Guild of St. Luke at age 20, and in 1482 moved to Milan and began taking commissions from wealthy patrons. We think of Leonardo da Vinci as one of the world's most masterful artists. But really, he was a scientist, incorporating anatomy, chemistry, and optics into the artistic process. With the Mona Lisa, Leonardo was able to bring a one-dimensional painting to life, creating an augmented reality experience centuries before the concept even existed. In the years when Leonardo was perfecting Mona Lisa's smile, he spent his nights in a morgue in Florence, dissecting cadavers to better understand the human body. He identified and drew bones, muscles, and nerves in his notebooks. He was obsessed with understanding the mechanics of human expression, examining the muscles that move the lips, cheeks, and teeth. Amid these observations, we see the makings of Mona Lisa's smile. Let's play a game. Think of a famous painting. Guess what? You just thought of me. Today, I'm the world's most renowned work of art, but it wasn't always this way. My story is full of surprises, and it all began in a studio in Florence. The portrait goes beyond its social limitations and acquires a universal meaning. And although centuries have passed, we still continue to reveal secrets of that piece of art. Sketches underneath show da Vinci made a mistake. During the same round of research that discovered the veil painting technique, Pascal Cotte also noticed something when examining the layers underneath the final painting. It turns out da Vinci had a change of heart about a small detail of the painting. 